Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here. And in today's video, we are back on Red Star OS, as you can see. Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos about Red Star OS, this is basically an operating system that they use in North Korea. It is based on Red Hat Linux, but it is made to look a lot like Mac OS X, and it has a bunch of features of Mac OS X when it comes to all of these menus. And in my most recent video on this OS, we tried installing some web browsers on it, somewhat successfully as you can see, and we also ran Doom, as well as Classic Cube, which is a port of Minecraft. Now of course any of this isn't meant to be possible on this because you are usually locked to the Nainara browser, and this is just a North Korean web browser that they used, but it is completely locked. With it you can only access the North Korean intranet websites, and you can't even access that from outside of North Korea. So the first thing we did is enabled root on this thing and then enabled this to open pretty much any website, even though this is based on like Firefox 10 or something, so you can't really open any modern websites with it. And then we opened some older websites which worked and from that we've managed to install these two browsers which are somewhat newer but not much newer, but unfortunately they don't run on the system, they don't work at all. Definitely go watch that video if you're interested in any of that. And basically in that previous video I said that some stuff like browsing the web and maybe even playing more modern games would be possible on this OS if we switched the kernel. And in that video, I basically talked about how I don't know how to switch the kernel on Linux and I'm not really sure on what that even means. I did a lot of research on it, but nobody has covered it on Red Star OS, unfortunately. And I also said, if any of you guys know how to do that, definitely reach out to me. And that is exactly what happened. So this lovely person over here reached out to me on Twitter and basically sent me the entire instructions on how to switch a kernel on one of these. So thank you so much. This video wouldn't have been possible without you. I still don't know if it will be possible because all of these instructions are very, very technical. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try to film this video today and if we manage to do it, well, good for us, I guess. So yeah, I'll stop rambling on. Let's begin with the video. Okay guys, so here are the three files that will need moved over to the VM. So I'll just move those right now. And also we will need text from this website right over here, which what I'll try to do is I'll just copy all of this and I'll make a new text document and just hope that this will be openable on Red Star OS. So this is what we'll do and I'll just paste this in here. Let me see if everything is there. Yes, it is. So now I'll just go for save. And yeah, let's hope that we'll be able to paste this into Red Star OS and successfully open it. And now that we've got these four files on our desktop, I'll use a technique to move them to the virtual machine. So for that, I won't use drag and drop because it doesn't work for some reason, I'll just use a physical USB drive. So I'll just plug the USB into my Windows PC, move the files over to the USB and then move them over to Red Star OS. And there we go, all four files have been moved so we can now unplug the USB and now we have everything that we'll need. So from now on, I won't be doing any live commentary because I think this process will take quite a while. So I'll try to do it, I'll see if I succeed and then post-production, I'll just commentate over everything so you guys know the steps, if you also wanna do this for yourself. So yeah, hopefully I'll be back when I succeed and let's hope that we are able to change the kernel on this software. And when I say it took a long time, it took about five hours. First thing you need to do is enable root on your machine if you have a clean install. You can see how to do so in my other video. Then we'll need to run the diffuse.sh script, which is the one that we copied and put in a text file. In order to do that, simply copy it from the text file and then just paste it in the terminal and click enter. Get back into terminal 
and extract the Gen2 kernel 6.12.28 folder, change the directory over to that folder and extract the image.tar file with this command, then switch the directory one more time over to the image folder, run this command right over here, then run this command right over here, and then this long command right over there. And the last thing we'll need to do is edit the boot.grub.config file. So just type this command into the terminal and an editor should open. Then you'll need to remove these two lines where it says VGA equals 0x317 and then simply reboot the system and select the new kernel version while booting. And bam, you have switched the kernel. After switching the kernel, we will need to install a thing called Nix, which will basically let us utilize the kernel and install all of these modern apps. To do that, once again open terminal with the root account, switch over to your desktop and run this command right here. Then type in exit to exit the root account. You'll need to extract the Nix folder that we transferred over to the virtual machine with this command. Then we'll need to select that folder as our directory, run this install command, and when it gives out this error, you need to run the command that the error actually displayed, and then just run the installer again, and there you go, Nix is installed. Log out and log back into your account, and you should be good to go. And that is how you do this entire process. For me as a beginner, it was quite complicated. Maybe for you guys it wasn't. I will leave all of the instructions that Adamos sent me in the description. And you also have this video guide if something goes wrong. And yeah, that is pretty much it. You are running Red Star OS on the new kernel with Nix. So let's see what it can do. The first thing I tried to do, of course, was install Firefox and that worked flawlessly. You can just launch it. It just launches the newest version of Firefox like it's anything, which is crazy. I also installed Chromium just so we have two web browsers. And now I'll bring you back to the live recording to finish this video. And I can't believe I'm even saying this, but we have the latest version of Firefox running on Red Star OS. Look at this, it runs everything. You can open up YouTube, you can do whatever you want. It is basically like a normal OS. It's incredibly slow as you would have thought, but you know, this, just seeing this, wow, it is just, it is just incredible. Let's try to search for myself. And there we go. You get the full YouTube experience on a North Korean operating system. That is pretty wild. Again, I can't thank Adamos9898 enough. Without him, this video wouldn't have been possible. He guided me through the entire installation and all of the trouble I had, he tried his best to solve it and solved all of my problems. I'm not highly familiar with Linux. Before this, I pretty much never used Linux and he was just incredibly friendly and helpful and tried to explain everything to me in a way that a beginner would understand. So again, massive shout out to him. Go follow him on Twitter. And without him, this video wouldn't have been possible. But yeah, this is just pretty incredible. For now, I've only tried to install Firefox and Chromium. So let's see if Chromium works. <laughs> it does and it even pops up uh, over down here. Wow, so you can even install Chromium. You can pretty much choose between Chromium and Firefox. You can even full screen Chromium and it works absolutely fine. So uh, this hasn't been done on YouTube yet. Only one guy has posted a video of him switching the kernel and actually using YouTube on Red Star OS. And that was all the way back in 2020. There you go. Chromium also runs YouTube absolutely fine. Let's actually try to play a video and see how that is going. We've all heard about these, right? These are Game Boys. And most of you guys are already familiar with what a Game Boy looks like. So and as 480p, the Game video Boy plays pocket. quite well. Up here. The sound is absolutely fine. The video is a bit grainy because it is 480p, but you know, it still works. But you know, I Let's would call this right watchable here. still. Two buttons and a D-pad as well as you start the select button. There's also a great website where you can find all of the Nix packages. 
So here is the first thing that I've managed to install and it is DOSBox, <laughs> which is pretty cool to see. And you can also see its icon down there. This means that we'll pretty much be able to run any DOS game or maybe even Windows 3.1 or something. But yeah, I won't be trying any of that right now, but it does seem to work absolutely fine. So this is an app that also works as well as the web browsers. Yeah, so Meeson was installed successfully, but I have no idea how to run it. Yeah, so I tried a few other emulators like Meeson and RetroArch, but unfortunately none of them have worked. They don't want to launch. But yeah, honestly, this is already pretty cool. We managed to get two web browsers working, which is Firefox and Chromium, and also DOSBox. But yeah, I pretty much wanted to make this video for a reason, and that is to share this information with you guys. And now some of you more knowledgeable can try to install different apps and basically see what is possible in this OS. That is why this video is a bit shorter and in a tutorial style. But yeah, I will definitely make more videos. I'll try some other apps in my free time and I'll definitely make more videos when I find out what works and what doesn't. But I basically just wanted to get this video out pretty swiftly to you guys so you can do this on your own virtual machines and get this up and running and hopefully start experimenting. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Another huge thank you to Adamos9898. This video wouldn't have been possible without him, so definitely go check him out. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, please check out my Twitter and Instagram and I will see you guys in the next video.